All right, guys, so I just got off work and oh lord, waiting on my um, package to come today. I was so close to canceling this package, but I think I just hey, how you doing? On, Not much. Right, All right, right. Let's see here. Da Right. Damn. You good. Thanks, brother. There you go. Thank you for your service. Right, you too. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so, our package just came, guys. But anyway, it came today. Dun, 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 dun. I just got off work, so don't mind the uniform. We're going to open it up and we're going to see what Santa brought us today, okay? Let's see what's in the box. Bubbles. Bong, bong, bong. Yes, it is here. 85 millimeter, 1.8. And the 70 to 200 2.8 G Master. Wow. Well, here it is. Now, prior to getting this, I actually shot with the 70 to 200. And I want you guys to hear this, all right? Now, excuse me if I'm not, like, dressed, but um, I really wanted you guys to be a part of this. But I, as you guys know, I still have my Sigma uh, 135 1.8. I love my Sigma and I love my Prime. So my buddy, I did a photo shoot yesterday, so my buddy brought his 70 to 200 down to the photo shoot. And I'll try to play some little clips in here with me. Uh, that video will be coming soon also. But... I was using the 70 to 200 yesterday uh, for the first time. Um, G Master, of course, I've used 70 to 200 before. And it felt like there was so much work to it. All right, but versus shooting on Prime, Prime is nothing but a quick shuffle of the feet. That's the only thing you're doing. You're just moving a location. I mean, and you stay nice and crisp and in. When I was using the 70 to 200 yesterday in a photo shoot, it felt like I had to do so much more work. That telephoto lens and zooming in and zooming out and you know changing composition and focusing and refocusing. But then when you refocus, you got to zoom in, you got to zoom out, and it was it felt like it was just so much with the with the zoom lens. So why did I end up getting this lens? Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna use it. I have about two more shoots this week, so. I'm gonna do a whole entire shoot with only this, with only this lens, only the 70 to 200 G Master. I'm gonna do the whole thing like I would do any other shoot, and I'm gonna see how well it, how well it just felt like I was doing so much more work as versus when I have my Prime on. Um, it feels like, I mean, with a Prime you already know how far away you have to be. I mean, you get it that distance where you want to be. And the compression on the 135 is just crazy. And hopefully, Sony will come out with a 135-18 because I would prefer shooting a prime over a telephoto lens. Uh, a lot of people, you might even say, hey, this feels like a prime all the way through and through. But it's not. I mean, it, it's still not a prime. So, um, but yeah, here it is. The 70 to 200. 2.8 G Master. I can throw it if you want. I can throw it on my A7R2 real quick. And um, yeah, I got the lens hood and all the bubble wrap and stuff. And let me see here. Optical steady shot. Bam. There he is. Alright, so let me see. So right now, I'm inside, so.
Ooh, it's so smooth. So, I'm gonna put this right here. Bam, there it is. So now we got the 85 millimeter 1.8 Sony. Bam. Oh, well, this one got the little button on the side of it also. So, I'm sure you can use this for like eye autofocus or a uh, focus hold or something like that. Probably don't waste no time because I don't want to set something up and forget where something else is. So, what is it, 67? There it is, the 85, 1.8. It got a little heft to it. It's definitely a, a whole lot smaller than the um, than the 85 millimeter 1.4 that I had from Sigma. But um, yeah, I tell you what, we're gonna take the uh, we'll take the beast off. We're gonna throw on the uh, 85. Right out the box, this thing comes fire. Yeah, and I don't like, I really don't know how the colors and everything render on here versus the other ones, but um, yeah, we're gonna put this thing to a test and see what it can do. So, um, I'm really excited about getting these things in the shoot. Um, like I said, I used it before, I wasn't too big on it, but um, oh. Yeah, we're going to have to see uh, what it does. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I just wanted to kind of share this uh, with you guys. So, if you have any if you have any um, ideas or what you want to see, definitely leave me a comment soon below. But I will tell you this. One thing that I, really, I am really, really interested in doing is if you guys have the 135 Sigma Art or the 135 Baddest. There's, here's one comparison I haven't, done, shot, uh, I haven't saw. I wanted somebody to take the 70 to 200 2.8 G Master and put it at 135 at 2.8, and then take another, take my 135 Sigma Art. It's a 1.8, but I'm gonna put it up at 2.8. I'm gonna stop it down at 2.8. So both of these will be at 2.8, and we're gonna look at the compression on each one, and we're gonna see um, and see how they differentiate and and you know bokeh and everything else. Um, a lot of people, and I was one of those people who was trying to make that determination. Do you keep the 135 if you have it and get the 70 to 200 or, or sell it and get the 70 to 200 G Master? Or do you just forget about the G Master if you have a 135? Because most of the time, honestly, um, people who use the 70 to 200, a lot of times if you're doing porches, a lot of times you actually shoot between 125 and 145 focal, range, focal length. Um, I talked to a few good friends of mine, and they um, they only shoot primes. They only shoot at 135. So hopefully, uh, Sony will be coming out with a 135 here soon. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. But I'm going to do a comparison. I got about 20 some days with it. Well, 30 days before I actually decide to either send this back or keep it. But if I feel like I'm not really doing anything with this, I'm probably going to send it back. So, but I got it for right now. So we're going to see what it do. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in that update, and I'm going to see you in that battle at the 135. Peace.